Okay, so today's session will be talking about crypto mats. So how we can generate um, IDs automatically through Maya and use them in compositing to, to do any necessary tweaks that uh, you guys will eventually want to fine tune on your renders. Um, so if you guys are interested in the documentation, it's in the, the Maya documents and under AOV's crypto mats. Um, so you can go and read more on it if you want. Basically, it outputs these three different AOVs for us. So crypto assets, crypto material, and crypto object. Okay, later we will take a, a look at what are those. Okay, so I will be using this scene um, since we already have it set up on the previous session. So the likes are already set up with all the AOVs. <clears throat> okay, so how do we get the, the crypto AOV is Basically, uh, we scroll down to all the available AOVs and there's this tree as crypto assets, material and object. So you just need to put it over to the active AOVs. So this will render out um, for you. So let's do a test render. And let's just check the AOVs. So if you scroll down, crypto asset. Okay, so basically assets means like um like your assets that you bring in, like your character, the knife, which is a separate one, and the set, which is a separate one. So the tree selection. Then if we go to the materials, basically it will split out based on the material that was assigned to the geometry. So if you have all of this asset that is like the stone material or the, the glass material or the grass material, so all of them will be um classified under the same colors <clears throat> so during the selection you will select all of it at, at once so this is crypto material and the last one is objects so basically this will give us individual um, geometries as a separate um, IDs that we can eventually pick up from or in new okay so these are the three IDs that we will be outputting and uh, I'll just do a, a render so that we can um, see those files in nuke okay so but before i moved on um so in case you guys do not have um the crypto mat set up in your maya so what you need to do is you can go to psyop um the website i'll put it in the link uh, description later so you guys can take a look and you can just download this and install it in your maya and again you need the one that is for the nuke version so you will download this as well so you have the, the new ones to, to actually have the gizmo or the, the plugins to use it later on um, to go along with the, the IDs. Okay, so all this um, later I'll put the link in the description. So if you need it, um, just go there and grab it. Okay, so now I'll just go do a, a sequence render and I'll just render one frame um, out and um, we'll bring the EXR into Nuke and take a look. Okay. Let me open my new. Okay, let me check the EXR. Okay, so this is uh, my renders. Okay, so now if I look at, if I use the layer contact sheet note, I should see all the, the AOVs inside. Um, so I have my, okay, let's turn on the names. So I have my all my likes AOVs. And I got all my IDs that, that comes in that looks a bit weird, um, which is fine. So, um, okay, so after you install your um, CryptoMat uh, plugins, you will get this icon here on the, the left side, the two panel. Um, you'll get the CryptoMat, so you can just use that um, node. Okay, so by default, it starts with crypto assets. So, um, you can, as you can see, three different ones. <coughs> So say I want to select the character itself, I can use this um, picker at, hold down control and click on um, the area. So now you can see that it's selected and if, if you press A, you'll see that the alpha is selected. So now what we can do is let's say I have, um, let's say uh, I want to, I want to darken, I mean, that's not what I want to do, but as a demonstration, let's say I want to darken out darken down her exposure. 
So what we can do is we can create an exposure node. Okay, then we can link to your crypto mat that you selected, which is her, and mask the exposure node to your crypto mat and say I want to reduce the exposure by a stop. So there you can basically just expose down, expose down her easily with, with that selection. Okay, so again, say um, you want to do more fancy stuff. Um, okay, I will just create another crypto map. Okay, just plug into here. Okay, so now maybe we use the, the second which is the material. Okay, so say I want to tweak her skin color. So now again, we'll just use this bigger app. We'll click on this. So it will select that, that area. Okay, um, say uh, I not only want to tweak her skin, I want to add uh, maybe other parts of the her into that selection. I can just hold down control and click on the, the areas again. So your adds on top of what was already selected. Okay, but um, for now, I just want to tweak the skin. Okay, so say the skin color, it's, it's not as... Um, nice as I wanted it. So I can add a grid node, plug it to the crypto mat. So now if I were to do like a bit of green, so maybe I put a bit more warmth to into the skin tone. So it feels more, feels like there's blood in, inside her instead of so pale. So yeah, I can actually push it a lot, a bit more so that you see the difference. And then now we are just tweaking just the skin area. So it does not break anything, right? Okay, and then let's check the, the last book that that is available. So let's just try. Okay, which is object. So this will give you a, a lot of selection. So even you you want to select parts of her, her clothes to, to tweak the things, uh, you can you do, do that. Or yeah, I mean basically you, you get a lot of selections that you possibly will need in your final phase. Uh, of your compositing that you want to fine tune things. Okay. So what's nice about all this crypto mat is let's say you are you are facing a very tight um deadline and you do not have time to, to re-render your scene. And say um your your supervisor or your director suddenly say no. Um this this clothes is in the wrong color, it's supposed to be green and, and you don't have time to render it overnight. Um, so what you can do now is you can use a crypto mat. Okay, so say I choose the material and I select just the just the clothes. Okay, I can use a grid <coughs> and I can just grid the clothes to just now we said green. Yeah, and we can achieve the color just like that. So saving the trouble to re-render everything again, uh, we can fix. Uh, problems like that. But of course, um, having said that, I'm not expecting all of you guys to render everything in white or no, I do not shit anything. So I, I just put the color later on in post. Um, no, that's not how you should be using all these crypto mat. Um, it's supposed to help you to push that final bits, the last bit of your fine tuning of your project and not help you to achieve what it's supposed to look like. Um, like, like what I have like, like, mm, like what I have I just show you guys. Like, you should not be rendering the skin in white and then put the color on in nuke later on. Okay, so there's more things that we can do with this. So say um in actual, I mean in in production. Say, okay, uh maybe I want to take down the the key light that was hitting this boat is too bright. You no, know? it's blowing out here and it's grabbing a lot of attention here. So what we can do is we can shuffle out that AOV. <clears throat> okay, should be lamp one. Okay, I worked on it so I know which AOV is it. Okay, so I shuffle out this lamp light, and what we need is we need a crypto mat of this um, bow. Okay, so after I shuffle out first, I will do a mask, I mean a merge, and I change it to from. Okay, so in here, if I view, it will be removing that. Um, lamp light, right? So it will be removing. Let me just rename this node so we can understand. Lamp 
1901. Okay, so that is removing that lamp light. Okay, and then after removing, we want to plus it back later on after we do the tweaks, right? So we can push this. Okay, and then this will be plus. Okay, so this image here should look exactly the same as the, the initial render, right? And what we can do now is, okay, after we shuffle out and we say we want to darken down this area. So let's create the crypto mat first. Okay, and we want to, okay, find the maybe material selection. Okay, this bow. Okay, click on the picker app. Control click on the colors that you want. Oh, there's too many that will be selected. I just need this bow. So let's just try object. Okay, pick it. Okay, click on the bow. Okay, so now it just gives me this bow. Okay, so just now we were in uh, material. That's why it's selecting everything that we, is the same material. So no, we don't need to do that. We just want to um, take down the exposure on this bow. So we can use the, the object um, mode and just click on this bow. So now it's just single bow that is selected. Okay, then what we can do is we can add the exposure node on this lamp light and plug it to the crypto map which is the bow and then we can take down the exposure say you no know, uh one stop okay yeah it feels like it sits in the scene maybe because it's a, a, a glass material it will be slightly a bit reflective and brighter maybe i just push a bit more but yeah, you can see from really blown out to a decent looking bow then we plus this back to our original render so before and after just tweaking the bow so these are the, the usage that you can be you can do um, with all these crypto mats um, and what's the beauty of this is the crypto mats works with all your depth of field so even if it's um, defocus or motion blur you will still you will still um, give you the mat accordingly so this saves you a lot of time to create your own ids let's say you are using the hypershade to create the all the IDs yourself, this saves you a lot of time and it gives you almost everything that you need uh, in a in a scene. So yeah, so that is um crypto mat and how you can use it. Okay, um before I, I end this session, um I just want to share so um there's two ways that you can install your um crypto mat plugin. So after you download it from the website, right? Um, there's two ways. So one way is you can change your um, environment variables and you will add a new one and you will path it to new underscore path and you will browse the directory and you choose um, where you save your, where you downloaded the, the plugin and plug it to the slash new folder. Okay, so for my case, um, if you scroll down, I path it to my my nukepedia crypto mat slash nuke which is the directory that consists uh, this gizmo okay or alternatively um some people like to do is they will go to their dot nuke um, folder which is in their user directory um their computer and there's this dot nuke folder um they will just paste in the gizmo that is here okay so the difference between um changing the environment variable and putting it here. Okay, if you put it in the .nuke folder, it will appear in your plugins, all plugins, and if you update, it will appear here. Uh, I do not have it here, so, but if you guys install it that way, you'll get it here. If you if you change the environment environment variable, it will give you this icon here, and you will you'll have this um, here. So it really depends on um, what you like uh, or what you prefer. So, yeah, so this is the how you install, download, and use CryptoMat. Um, and yeah, if you like the, the content, uh, do remember to like, share, subscribe, or comment if you want to ask me any question. And thank you.